my name is Andrew Gerhardt. I'm the VP of Publisher Platforms for Mobi. Today we're going to address a common question that we get, which is, for my mediation, how do CPMs get into the auction? There's a few different ways, so let's take a look. So when the app makes a call to the Mobi ad server, we're going to look at the CPMs from each of the different ad networks that you're working with. How do they get in there? Well, there's three different ways. The first way, is a stated CPM. That's where you're entering a flat CPM into the system for that particular ad network. Let's say it's $6. The second way is when the ad network offers API reporting. And so we're able to connect our system to their system. Now, that's going to be dynamic, and so sometimes we'll pull that daily, sometimes we'll pull that hourly based on the parameters and the limitations of that particular ad network. The third way that we can get the CPM from an ad network or an exchange is through a dynamic bid. And so that's the third and preferred method for pulling CPMs from an ad network. Let's take a look at what that means daily. So let's say for user A, if it's a stated CPM, on day one, it's going to be $6 across the board for every user. So that means if there's an auction that runs for I have five different auctions, each one it's going to be $6. Now, let's take a look at that for the API reporting. So we're going to be pulling back the actual revenue and actual CPM that you're generating from that ad network. So instead of it being a stated CPM, maybe for day one it's 776. Uh, but that same number is going to be used across all of those different auctions. And so we have to drag that down across. So what we see here is that ad network that uses API reporting has a chance to be more competitive because we can get more accurate data about uh, the revenue and the performance. Let's look at the dynamic bid. So we have day one of dynamic bids. What we see here is that because they're passing back a dynamic price for each individual auction, the price can change. And so maybe they don't value user A and they only want to bid 475. But there's something about user B that they really like. And so now they're going to bid $30. They really want to win that impression. User C, well, there's someone in the middle. User D, they really like that impression. And then same with user E. So you can see here, they're able to send back accurate pricing. They're more competitive within the auction and the publisher is able to capture more yield. Let's look at how that influences on day two. So day two, because this is still a stated CPM, unless the publisher has changed the pricing in the platform, we still have to use $6 across all those auctions. Now, if we're using API reporting for a net network, that price will have changed. So maybe they perform better and the average CPM for that ad network is going up. Now that's going to be, let's call it 825. But again, we have to use that number across all the different auctions. So, we see that we can get more accurate with API reporting. We pull that back in, their CPM can go up or down. And the third one with dynamic bids, we have the same, uh, same thing where they can bid um, for each individual impression. And so maybe they want to win more for user A, they still like user B, so they're bidding $30. So that's how. CPMs get influenced into the auction. We have three different types. We have stated CPMs. We have API reporting, which most ad networks support. And we have the dynamic bits, which is really where the market is evolving towards and which gives the publishers more accurate data, accurate reporting, and allows them to capture more yield from their auction. Thank you for your time. This has been another Whiteboard Wednesday. We look forward to seeing you again.